Hello everybody out there and welcome back finally to another World's Finest Review or the World's Finest episode. What we're doing with World's Finest now since we went back to the old comic book format is we're taking books outside of the big two, myself and Michael, and we'll be spotlighting them. These are single issue comic books. We've got a bunch that we actually will be doing at some point that we got from New York Comic Con. I know Chris has been late, but it's been crazy. But I figured what better way to start than with a book that comes out every other month or it has been coming out for a while, a book I've been loving, and that is Argo 5. This episode, as you can see from the title, we're talking about Argo 5, issue number 20. We're going to be spotlighting that in this episode. Mike's going to show you guys some internal artwork. And as the cover states, Enter Unlimited. A new superhero is introduced in this book. Question is, though, who is he? How did he get his powers? And what's happening? So the book opens up with Argo 5 facing off against an alien threat that literally came out of nowhere. And that's when Unlimited makes his appearance out of nowhere as well and makes quick work of the aliens. Argo 5 would have taken them a little bit, but he just, boom, boom, it's over. The aliens are done. Throws the spaceship like a flying saucer into space. Well, it wasn't a flying saucer technically. Eh, frisbee. Like a frisbee into space. And <laughs> alien threat done. So they finally have a chance to find out who is Unlimited. And he reveals how he got his superpowers. I'm not going to spoil that here. Read the book to find out. And Gladiator is so nice. She's like saying, you know, maybe we could team up. You know, we should work as a team. One thing I didn't like about Unlimited was his personality. He was very arrogant. And obviously that's the way he's written. But um, he did, doesn't believe he needs a team. He believes that they need his help because he's better than them. He'll help them. And just as they're saying, excuse me, what did you say? Out of nowhere, and this was the best part, I really enjoyed this in the book, evil doppelgangers of Argo 5 show up. And Unlimited, once again, without even asking Argo 5 for help, takes all five of those doppelgangers out. No problem. And then again, they talk about how are you, you know, there's, they're, quest they're starting to question what's going on. And they're starting, and he's starting to boast her about how great he is, yada, yada, yada. I'm, you know, the strongest, the best, whatever. And then another threat pops out of nowhere. Robots. Where do they come from? So Gladiator's starting to hypothesize there's something going on here. There's something up with this, out of nowhere, one after the other after the other threat. That never happens. And here's this unlimited guy. What's going on? We find out. That Unlimited is somehow linked to all of this. I won't spoil how, again. But he's linked to all this. So Argo 5 have to essentially not fight the robots, not fight the aliens or the evil doppelgangers, which they didn't even have a chance to lay a finger on. They have to stop Unlimited. Because by, some, by a reason I won't say, he's the reason behind it. And in the end, they do, and it's amazing. So the world will always be saved with Argo 5, but now... Obviously, this is the only story we're going to see Unlimited, but will we see Unlimited in the future? That's up to my good friend Dan, who writes this book. But I would be very interested in seeing a return appearance from Unlimited, see if, um, you know, what, what exactly is going to happen with this character next. I'm kind of curious, because there's a specific way this character is going to have to be now, or else, well, again, I don't want to spoil it, but it'll be very interesting and definitely something I'll talk to Dan about after, obviously, he sees this review. But I would be very interested in seeing a reappearance. Obviously, not now. I know Dan has a lot of stories already in the works, but it'd be interesting if ever they revisited Unlimited in the future. But I don't think we'll be seeing him in the near future. Artwork was excellent, as you guys saw from the artwork Mike showed. Story was really fun. I really loved it. I love the evil doppelgangers. I would love to see that happen um, outside of the way it happened in this book at some point. But still, it's like watching the crime syndicate of Argo 5, basically. It would be really cool if we had that at some point as a story as well. But again, not here to throw out what I want to see. I'm talking about what I did see. And what I did see was an amazing comic book, issue number 20 already. I'll leave a link in the description below, guys. But if you like what you heard here and you are interested in checking this book out, you can go to argocomics.com. On the website, there is a link to Indie Planet where you can get all of your Argo 5 goodness. There's 20 issues now of Argo 5. There are several Sorority of Powers. I forget how many episodes. There's the, Antho the Argo Comics Anthology. There's the Law and Order one-shot. And now there's the Havoc Patrol one-shot as well. Lots of really great stuff going on with Argo Comics. I'm really excited for the next issue. I know that 
Dan is already working on 21 and 22 right behind it. I'm really excited to get my hands on the next issue of Argo 5. Every time I hear it's ready to come out, I need my Argo 5 uh, fix because it's an excellent book, and I'm sure if you guys gave it a shot, you guys would love it as well. I would recommend, though, start with issue 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then um, move up from there. And you, I promise you, you'll be like me. You will have read all 20 issues of Argo 5. And I tell you guys, whenever Dan's ready to start doing the trade paperbacks, it damn right, Dark Avenger will be there, and we will be backing up the Argo 5 uh, Kickstarter for the trade paperback. But till next time, everybody, that was it. Links in the description below. Connect to a whole bunch of things. Connect to Argo 5 Comics. And also feel free to comment below what your thoughts. If you did go out and check out Argo 5 Issue 20, or Argo 5 in general, let me know what you guys thought of the book in the comments below. I know Dan will be checking them out. Dan is a frequent on Dark Avenger Live. So I'll let Dan know what any of you guys have to say about the book, or he'll be in the comments already. Till next time, take care, keep reading, keep collecting. I will see you guys really soon in the next video.